sorry for talking with my mouth full, but it is so, so delicious, I can't even explain to you. Um, very mild tasting, and a lot of people are afraid of cod for some reason. But if you get wild caught and um, don't do a lot to it, it's actually quite a good mild, flaky, white fish. Then we have steamed collards. And as you can see, the only thing I really do to it is I cut it into bite-sized pieces. And um, put a little bit of water and olive oil in a pan. Put it on, watch it as soon as it gets a little bit, um, uh, I don't want to say translucent, but not so firm. It is done. And the taste, hmm. I just wonder, if people don't know much about collards, I think they're um, expecting a really, really, maybe bitter or not so good taste. I think it definitely tastes like collards, but it's actually fairly mild. Now you can also put um, garlic in this if you can have garlic. Just like with the cod, you can put garlic in it. Um, I also know people that will put olives and vinegar peppers if they can have that. You know, chop up some vinegar peppers. Um, there's a lot you can do with these. These are very basic recipes. Intentionally as a starting point. This is rice pasta. And the only thing I do to this is a little bit of ghee, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. Um, mm, it's so good. Not mushy at all. It's firm. I cook it al dente. And as I've mentioned before, this is not a commercial, but don't judge all rice pastas on uh, some of the brands out there. Are, I really didn't like the ones I tried. The one I am very partial to is Tinkiata. People have asked me why I cook so simply, and the reason is that I've been diagnosed with a lot of foods that are migraine triggers for me. And people are always asking me to share what I do to control the migraines. Well, one of the big things, and remember, everybody's different. This is just what worked for me with the guidance of my allergy specialist. So I was able to identify uh, through testing a lot of my food triggers. And so I'm able to eliminate them. But before I did that, the easy thing to do is to remove if you wanted to do something on your own that, you know, might or might not work, but you could try it, um, remove the nightshade family of foods. Those are foods like tomatoes and potatoes and eggplants. You could look them up on the internet and there's a list of them. They tend to be highly inflammatory. And so I've heard from a lot of people that just by eliminating nightshades, and be careful, nightshades hide out um, also with things that are made from peppers like cayenne and paprika, <clears throat> so be careful of that. And um, I, I would say that's a really good place to start. And then, as I always say for my foods, I intentionally uh, don't use processed foods because of the chemicals in them. I avoid all of the known common allergens, which again, if you're trying to do some uh, work on your own to figure out what's causing your migraines. Eliminate all of the common allergens. Those are things like sugars and dairy, gluten, yeast, um, corns. Again, you could look that up on the internet. That's all specified out. So people were asking me what the motivation was for me. That's my motivation. And I'm real happy that I can control migraines with um, Foods that are simple, easy, inexpensive.